Okay, this exercise is to assist you in completing question 2.4. Just note it has to be on a new sheet. So basically we're setting up an airline timetable for all the aircraft. So to start with, we we'll scroll down to the next page and we need to pick up this table. Just copy that and pop it somewhere on the first sheet. Then, so you'll notice here that you have the four airlines. Now I've written this up before, but these are the headings for our timetables and I might just merge those so we can call it Qantas. Give it a nice colour, there we go. Okay, flight number is going to come from QF from there, so we just type in manually QF221. Date of departure, again, you have to check the airline. In the case of Qantas, it's the 1st of January 2013. Type that in manually. Day of departure is simply the date formatted accordingly. So we'll just format that. Customs, as we did with the shipping lines, and day is also going to be the same. So we can format that as well. I should have done it together. And date of arrival will equal the date of departure plus the duration of the flight. And in the case of Qantas, it's one day and you could absolute that one if you wanted to. Uh, we get a value because we've got one day. So we need to remove that. There we go. And regularity, uh, yeah, regularity is date of departure plus the frequency which departs daily so you can put just a plus one there to represent daily drag these two down to the next one drag that one down okay and make sure you pick up the second row not the first because remember you've got that first date which isn't a formula and because it's a daily flight we want to go down to at least 365 and then just eliminate anything that takes off in 2014. Once you've done that, highlight the entire table without the headings and we'll name this one Qantas and then go back and highlight just the arrival dates as you did with the shipping companies and I'm going to call this Qantas underscore arrival. Okay, so if I zoom out we should have Qantas sitting there. Okay, once you've done that, you can pick up that whole thing and drag it across four times and then just change that one to, well you could even do an equal if you want, do it that way, equals Lufthansa and then FedEx for the other one and repeat the process, a little bit tricky when it comes to China Cargo Airlines. and make sure you name it 2.4 airline timetable calculator okay